Hey there, tech fans. Today I've got the brand new River 3 portable power station from EcoFlow. This is their latest generation product that includes a lot of really advanced features that I think you'll care about. Now, before I get into all of those, I always like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included. And then I'll dive into the specifications so you can easily compare the River 3 with other portable power solutions you may be considering. But I really want to talk about the features because EcoFlow is a company that's been building portable power solutions for quite some time and they're constantly innovating in their products. So you'll find features typically in a new product from EcoFlow that take other companies a long time to actually develop. And that's nice because when you're comparing a portable power station against another one, the specifications are really only telling half the story. They're important, but the features are really what separate one from another. And I'll get into all that in a minute, but let's get started with the unboxing first. So when you first pop open the box, you'll find the River 3. It weighs 7.8 pounds, which means it's really, really portable. You can take this pretty much anywhere you need a little extra power. You'll also find an AC charging kit included. On the one end is a three-prong plug that you can plug into any standard wall outlet in your home. And on the other end, you've got a computer connection which plugs into the side of the unit. You'll notice there's no charging brick. And that's because that conversion circuit that changes the AC in your home to DC to charge those other portable power solutions is built into the unit. And it's also incredibly efficient, which means when you plug this into the wall, you can fully charge this unit in less than an hour. And think about that. Most other portable power stations with this capacity could take you two or three or four hours to charge because that external brick is incredibly inefficient. With this one, EcoFlow has built that conversion circuit into the unit, which means it speeds up the conversion and it's a lot more efficient. So it's a great way to charge it. They also include a DC charging kit that you can use in your car or your truck. So just plug this into a convenience outlet, connect this into the unit, and you can charge it in your car and your truck in a couple of hours, again, depending on what the level is when you start charging it. You'll also find a bunch of manuals included, which I like. I always like printed manuals. You'll find a quick start guide that explains how to use it, how to charge it, what you can plug into it. You'll find a warranty guide. There's a safety guide built in here. You'll find a guide for the application. I'll get into that in a minute. And there's some discussions around a solar panel because the third way you can charge this is by using a portable solar panel if you're out camping. So imagine having this in your tent. You've got a solar panel set up outside. It's drinking in sunlight, converting that to DC that charges the unit. That's my favorite way to charge it because I've had this out on a couple of camping trips where I brought it out fully charged. I use it for a couple of days. I plug it into the solar panel. We go fishing. I come back to the tent and it's fully charged. So you can charge it at home with an AC kit. You can charge it in your car with a DC kit, or you can charge it off of solar power. Pretty cool. All right, so let's talk about the basic specifications. This unit has an internal capacity of 245 watt hours, and it can produce up to 300 watts of external charging and operating capabilities that can surge to 600 watts. And that's important because most power stations on the market have a limit as far as how much power they can supply externally. And if you draw a little bit more current than the product can survive, it actually blows a breaker. With this one, you've got surge protection built in, which means if you plug something in like a drill or a blender or a cooler that draws a little bit more current when you first turn it on, this unit can handle that surge, whereas other units are gonna pop a breaker. So I like the fact that it's got surge protection built in. So let's talk about the battery technology because that's another critical consideration. This unit uses the very latest battery chemistry, which is based on lithium iron phosphate batteries. Now, the reason that's important is because a lot of portable power stations on the market use the older lithium polymer technology, which has a lot of limitations. For starters, lithium polymer technology and the other units, they don't handle temperature changes very well. So if it's really hot or really cold, it's not gonna work that great. The other challenge with LiPo cells is that they don't hold a charge very long. So if you charge them, those other units on a Monday, and you go to use the unit maybe middle of the week, you might find that you have 85% of the charge still on it because it decays over time. The real reason though that you don't wanna stick with a lithium polymer cell is because there's a limit to how many times you can charge it up to 80%. With LiPo technology, you'd be lucky to get three or 400 charge cycles out of it. Lithium iron phosphate technology has none of those limitations. It handles temperature changes really well. You can use it in cold weather, hot weather, doesn't matter. It also holds Holds a charge very long, you can charge it on a Monday, come back two weeks later, you're gonna find most of the charge still in the unit. But the big difference is this provides over 3,000 charge cycles. And that's important because the batteries are not something you can change in the unit. So knowing I can charge this 3,000 times means even if I charged it once a day, I'm gonna get 10 years of use out of the product, which is pretty incredible. Those other ones, 300 charges, 
maybe that's a year or two years worth of use. So you're getting a lot more use out of the unit. These batteries are also a little bit more safe and they're more energy dense, which means it's not gonna weigh as much as those LiPo cells. So you've got really easy ways to charge it, really good battery chemistry inside the unit. Now that you've got a charged battery and you've taken it out on your camping trip, how do you deliver that internal charge to external devices? Well, typically power stations like this have three ways they can deliver external power. DC, like in your car, AC, like in your home, and USB, like a wall charger would deliver. This unit provides all three of those output options. So let's start with the DC. Right over here, you're seeing a full-size DC outlet, just like in your car. So once you turn the unit on and you turn the DC on, you can plug anything into the outlet that you would normally plug into your car's outlet and charge it directly. And that's great if you've got a car charger or you've got a charger you use with your laptop in your car, just plug it in there and you're gonna be just fine. That'll deliver 12 volts at up to 10 amps, which is a lot of current. So plugging something in there is just like plugging it in your car. As far as the AC goes, you're gonna find two full-sized AC ports on this side. One is a three-prong outlet, the other one is a two-prong outlet. So anything you plug in at home, you can plug into those outlets and use the AC. Now here's what's interesting. The AC on this unit is a pure sine wave output, and that's important because a lot of the other portable power stations use a modified sine wave, which is not great for sensitive electronics. So if you're plugging in computers or any kind of technology, you wanna make sure you have a pure sine wave. Those two AC outlets combined can provide up to 300 watts of external charging and operating capabilities that can surge to 600 watts. So if you're out plugging a drill in and drilling a board, or maybe you're using a power saw, or maybe you've got lights outside that you want to light up, just plug them in right there and it's going to work just great. The final way you can draw power out of the battery is through USB connections. Now, there are two standards for USB connections. The older standard, which is USB-A, that's the larger connection, and the newer connection, which is USB-C. Most new products use the USB-C connection, but this has both on the front. So there are two full-sized USB-A ports that you can plug anything into, and they'll deliver five volts, at up to 2.4 amps. So pretty much as much as you can get out of a USA port on a USB charger in the wall, you'll get out of the front of this unit. So plug them in, you can charge your phones, your tablets, your drone batteries, your camera, whatever charges off a USB-A port. But it also has a USB-C port in the center, and USB-C is a smarter port, is a quick charging port. So this one has a PD standard attached to it. So if you plug something in that is a PD compatible device, it's gonna immediately, the port's gonna look at that device and realize what charge level it's got. It's gonna adjust the voltage and current this provides to quickly and safely charge that device. The other thing that's nice about the USB-C port is it provides up to 100 watts of external charging capabilities. That's almost unheard of on a unit this small. A lot of the portable power stations on the market may have USB-A ports, they may even have a USB-C port, but they typically limit that to 30 watts or 40 watts or 60 watts. This one is a full 100 watts. And the reason that's important is because electronics have gotten bigger, they've gotten thirstier. So if you're plugging in a big tablet or you're plugging in drone batteries or some game consoles, or if you wanna plug your laptop in, this can provide 100 watts of charging over the USB-C, which means you can charge your laptop off it. The best part is all of those ports are active at the same time. And when you're charging the unit, it does pass through charging through the ports. So I plug this in at home, I plug all my portable devices into the front of it when I'm getting ready for my vacation, I go get a cup of coffee, the internal batteries are charging and all my external devices are charging. And it's got a UPS feature built in, which is uninterruptible power supply. So if I plug this in and I plug my computer into the front of it and I lose power, maybe the wall outlet, uh, power goes down in the house because we had a blackout, within 20 milliseconds, this will switch over to the internal battery. So most computers won't even notice that you lost power. So you can use this as a UPS. So for example, if you're sleeping at night and you get a CPAP machine, you don't want the power to go out, plug it into this. Let it run all night, and if you lose power at the house, this will kick in, CPAP's gonna continue to run. So they've really thought of almost everything. The final thing I'd like to mention is the fact that what you have here, I think is almost, it's that Goldilocks zone of portability, power, and performance. And, that, and that's really what I'm looking for. Now, it may seem like 245 watts is not that big a capacity, but the thing you have to keep in mind is when you're searching for a portable power station, you want to find one that's going to fit your needs. And there are much bigger ones on the market. Matter of fact, EcoFlow makes much larger units. But the point is, you don't want to drag a big one out in the field and then bring it home with 50 or 60% of the capacity left because that means you're bringing a big thing out in the field you gotta drag back home. You wanna find one that fits your needs. This is right in that Goldilocks zone because it provides more than enough power 
for three, four, five days of camping or a long road trip with the family, or if you want a backup power solution for your home if you lose power, this one will fit the bill. And I really, really like the portability. I mean, this thing, it's not super light, it's not feather light, but 7.8 pounds is plenty for the amount of energy this packs inside of it. And that's pretty much all I wanted to mention. Oh, I did forget one thing. You've got this beautiful digital display on the front that gives you all the information you need to understand about the operation of the unit. It'll tell you how much charge is left, how much current you're drawing when you're charging things, how much current's going in when you're charging it, what the charge level is currently. It also has a timer built in, lets you know how long you can use it with the things you have plugged in based on how much battery charge is left. And it also has an application, and that's what I was talking about earlier, is you can connect your phone up to it, and you can monitor all of those metrics from your phone. You can tell what the charge level is, who's using what. It's just a great way to connect with the unit. And that's pretty much all I had for today. I like it an awful lot. I've been using it for a couple of weeks, and I think it's a great product. So thanks an awful lot for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this review.